because it's going to be kind of like a uh, holy grail for material science, right? You're going to get even harder than diamond. We used to think that diamond was the most, the, the hardest thing. And like we, we had sort of exhausted the possibilities on all the things that carbon could be. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, people started looking at this thing called the Canyon Diablo meteorite, which is the meteorite that fell on um, Arizona. 50,000 years ago. Have you been to Meteor Crater? I know of it. I've never been. Yeah, I think it's off the 40 freeway. 40, 40 yep. Yeah, um, on your way from like Grand Canyon to Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's, it's a wonderful place. It's the best preserved meteor crater on the planet because in these arid conditions, you see this beautiful, it was also only 50,000 years ago. America so, always has the best. We always got the, the, best. the best. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so um, it was also like one of the first places that my dad visited when he came to America oh, from India. Um, so I remember when I was like in India, I was like seeing like photos of the meteor crater going like, that's crazy, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so people found the meteorite for this thing. It's a massive meteorite called the Canyon Diablo meteorite, 640 kilograms. Um, and in this, people started doing like chemical analyses and they thought they saw another form of a diamond. Okay. Okay. Um, it was called Lawn's Delight. Okay. And it was this elusive hexagonal thing that people had theorized existed, but maybe it was in there. Very trace amounts. Mm -hmm. And there was controversy like, are you really seeing what you're seeing? Like, is this real? Um, and uh, people started doing theoretical modeling of it and were like, this thing would be even harder than diamond mm -hmm. if if it was true. Mm -hmm. um, the hypothesis is that whatever carbon was in the meteorite, it slammed, like this meteorite was so big that it didn't just like burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, it actually slammed into the ground, right? Mm -hmm. And when it slammed into, into the ground, that carbon in all that high temperature and pressure right. fused into this new form. Which makes sense. Of Leon's, yeah, and it makes sense. So, um, and you see these like trace amounts, but ever since then, people have been on the hunt to try to make this thing, okay? Because it's gonna be kind of like a uh, holy grail for material science, right? You're gonna get, even harder than diamond, you're going to get novel electrical properties. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you can start using it in like quantum computers mm -hmm. and like, mm -hmm. like all sorts of stuff. Right? Right, right. So you want to, you want to try and make it first. Mm -hmm. Um, but it ended up being extremely hard to make. Everyone's, everyone's, um, process is basically the same high stress, high temperature, high pressure. Um, what these guys did was they were like, we need to control this thing really, really well in order to actually make it. Okay. They did the work. They did it. They did the work. Like they, they got hexagonal diamonds. This has been, this has been something that people have been after for 50 years and they got it. 